This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 21. The objective is to explain the size of the product and relate fraction and decimal equivalents to multiplying a fraction by 1. This lesson covers Standard 5, NF.5, and 5, NF.6. This is Problem 2C off the homework. The directions say to express each fraction as an equivalent decimal. So in this lesson, we learn to take a fraction and multiply it by a whole number, a whole number 1, which means our numerator and our denominator have to be the same, in order to find an equivalent decimal. So I know when I think about my place value chart, I have tenths, hundredths, thousands. So I want to try and get this number right here to be either 10, 100, or 1,000. So I know, let me change the color here, I know I have two-fifths as my fraction. So I'm going to, I know that 5 goes into 10. So I want this to become tenths. 5 times what gives me 10? Well, 5 times 2. So whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. What is 2 times 2? Two? 2 times 2 is 4. You can see I multiplied across. 4 tenths, when you write 4 tenths as a decimal, I have 0 0.4. That's 4 tenths. Let's try another one. This problem says 3 twentieths. And again, I need to find an equivalent decimal. So think to yourself. I would need this to be either a 10, a 100, or a 1,000. Well, we know 20 won't go into 10, so we can cross that off. But I do know that 20 can go into 100, so I'm going to make my denominator 100. 20 times what gives me 100? 20 times what? 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. What is 3 times 5? 15. I write my answer as 15 hundredths.